About a year ago, the community of Hope here in Las Cruces had more homeless people than they could accommodate. That meant the overflow had to be housed outside in tents, even though that was in violation of zoning regulations. Veronica Bake tells us the zoning is being changed to allow it. A homeless student from Doniana Community College, James von Baron, has been living in the tent for about a year. He says the experience has motivated him to study social work. And the uh, hope in the St. Luke's had allowed uh, several of the homeless, all of us, to stay on the campus in different areas. Executive Director Nicole Martinez says she and her staff would travel around the city tracking down homeless people. She found them sleeping in the ditches and other unsafe environments. Martinez says Camp Hope has helped many homeless people get the services they need. It has provided the homeless a safe place to sleep while they are transitioning out of homelessness. And part of us being able to do that on city property is by doing a rezoning for this particular area. The tents are only a few inches apart and placed over rocks and dirt. The rezoning would mean that each tent would be 10 feet apart and placed on a permanent foundation. If there was a fire, how are people going to get out? If there was a medical emergency, can those vehicles get there safely and effectively and get out quickly without any problems? Las Cruces City Senior Planner Catherine Harrison Rogers says another problem is bat drainage, which can cause ponding and increase the number of mosquitoes. She says the rezoning would allow the tent to stay and force it to meet action requirements, and that will make it safer. Veronica Baque, News 22. Harrison Rogers says it will take up to three months for the rezoning to be approved. Community of Hope will have a festival event Saturday to raise money to help with the cost of improvements they must take.